Okay, so finally we have everything removed, which is your intakes, turbo, um, and we got to the oil cooler, which is right here. As you can see, all of this is oil, and how it goes, there's a hole right there, it gets into that, and then it drains down through the block, on the, on, on, a, on the back of the block where the plate is for the rear uh, crankshaft seal and it goes to the side and then it drains out on that other side which like I said a lot of people might think that the rear main seal is leaking but it's due to there's so much of a fluid um, especially when the vehicle is running and there's a pressure it just get out from those uh, gaskets and and gets to that but like I said uh, before to get to those two gaskets you have to remove a lot of stuff and uh, once you have to put everything back make sure you are using all of the new gaskets and all of the new bolts and nuts because um, they are uh, one-time use so you cannot reuse them because you will not tie everything back properly um, and uh, just to show you that's kind of a kit we all, always carry with all of the new gaskets and of course all of the new bolts and nuts um, everything has to be new so we're about to remove that oil cooler and we'll show you in the next video